What's up everyone, this is Ray Solution, the solution for your gaming needs, and welcome back to Let's Play The Blind Griffin. So, as you remember from the last episode, we made it, we made ourselves right into the speakeasy. So, without further ado, let's continue on. Stuck in the corner with some shelves was a bed. Looked a little cramped, but I don't take up much room anyhow. What is it exactly what I was thinking of when Marie said there was an extra room? But a place to sleep. But a place to sleeps. A place to sleep. Oh, I love that phrase. A, but a place to sleeps is a place to sleep. Oh my goodness. The speakeasy is open till late, so you should sleep now while you can. I nodded. Thanks, Vivi. Hey, no problem. Us girls. You gotta stick together, you know. You let me know if you need anything. Got it. Sleep tight. She left and after taking off my jacket, I jumped into bed. I've been losing hope of landing a job, but maybe this would turn out alright. That's what I was thinking until I dozed off. A couple hour later, hours later, Vivi woke me up and went, we went back up to the speed. It took really nice. Look, gosh, what is? Ugh, it looked really nice, all lit up like that. Glad you could make it, Haru. I can't be late to my first job, my first day on the job, can I? It was still a good hour before the place opened for business. You look, you look more like a dame with your hair down. Ah, goddammit, Emilio! Don't judge a woman. How womanly you think she looks, Emilio. I'll be angry with you. Sorry, Marie. You know I didn't mean it like that. I know you didn't, but still, be nice. Really? I'm sorry. I had to take that in for a second. Mean it like what? Staring at the lines of Marie's face, though, I suddenly understood. You're... I'm a woman. I couldn't tell that? She looks like a woman! <laughs> I'm a woman. I was just born in the wrong kind of body. That's- Oh! It's a dude. Uh, well, I look stupid. Never mind what I said. It's a dude. Born- It's a woman! It's a woman! She she's a woman! Everybody, she's a woman! It's a girl! It's a girl, everybody! In, in a man's body. I forgot. I didn't see. I noticed that there's no breast at all. I mean, that's not the first thing I look at, but never mind. I'm a woman. I was just born in the wrong kind of body, that's all. Hey, I'm not gonna judge. Though I don't see why anyone would really want to be a woman. Hey, I'm not judging too. Hey, don't look at me like that. Stop looking at me! Stop judging. Are you kidding? You girls have it way easier than us guys do. Women don't have to go off to war. You didn't go to war either, tough guy. Dry up, Viv. Just then I heard the sound of arguing coming from these from the stairs. Sounds like the men are back. And what am I? Just a boy, I mean. Huh. Who are the boys? Oh, are you two? What is up with you? What are you guys wearing? In walked a pair of regular sheiks. A big six and a stiff looking bird. Wearing a cape. Does he know how silly that cape looks? Let me introduce you to the guys, Haru. Who's the dame, Marie? Marie? This is Haru. She's our new bartender. Is that so? Good to meet you. I'm Giovanni. If you have any questions, just ask me any time. I nodded. A few seconds later, I noticed his outstretched hand, so I shook it in a hurry. Nice to meet you. Way too serious. Who's way too serious? Hey, Alice, say something to the girl, will ya? Good evening. I'm Alexi. He had a real thick accent. Well, almost everyone in here had some kind of accent, but his thick like button. Oh, an accent? I nodded. 
Sorry, dog. Hey, what you call the slow to warm up tag? He's what you call it, slow to warm up tag. Eh. The gang's all together. Isn't this the berries? I, I don't think it's the berries. I don't wonder what all what all everyone did around here. Marie cleared or clearly owned the joint. Alexi and Giovanni? Probably muscle, but Emilio and Vivi. Hmm. Gio, show Haru the ropes, will you? You got it. Haru Oh no! Go back, go back. How do I go back? I, I didn't see that. Haru, you bastard. How do I go back? Ah, uh, fuck it. Whatever. Once that is done. Unless I can't go back. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. Haru, Gio's the one I was telling you about before. The musician. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. He'll take good care of you. Try and do what he says, alright? I nodded and went behind the counter with Giovanni. He took off his coat and hat and stowed them away. You ever mixed drinks before? Well, if I'm level with you. But, no, but I learned real quick. I believe you. That's no problem. Just try this on for size. He handed me a glass and a metal cup thing. This here is a shake. You, uh, shake things. Copagenic. Copagenic! Oh, my goodness, I totally forgot about that word. They finally said it! Copagenic! I love it! Oh, my goodness. He, put a, pull, pu, 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 pu. he pulled out another glass and shake it for himself. He poured some alcohol and ice into, into him and started shaking. There's, these are the basics of formid thing. It's all the same technique. You just gotta learn what goes with what to make what else. What? Think you can do it? Sure. I don't seem confident on myself. Over the next half hour or so, we worked out some cocktails. It was a lot to remember, but I really wanted a job. I did my best to keep up. You weren't kidding about being a fast learner. Good job, kid. A few more nights and you might be just be able to take over from me. By now, all the others had gathered around the bar. See, Emmy? She's doing just fine. Yeah, yeah, let's see how she holds up in a week. Anyone can do good the first day. By the way, I didn't get a chance to ask you before, but how'd you find out about this job anyway? This doesn't exactly seem like your wreck. I didn't see any reason to lie about it. I shrugged. I didn't hear about it. Not exactly. I followed the signs. It was just my luck you, you cats were hiring. Sorry I didn't mention that before. Marie and Giovanni just looked at each other for a sec before looking back at me. Signs? You know those glowing smoke things in the air? They made a trail that led right to this joint. A silence hung in the air for a while. Hang her! She's a witch! Okay, sorry. <laughs> You are a magician. Alexei was the first to speak up, strangely enough, but his words made no sense to me. A, a what? A magician. It means you can use magic, Haru. Baloney, I, I ain't no magician. You see a wand or a witch's hat on me? But only magicians can see those eyes. Those are a secret message for others of our kind. There should be signs like that in a lot of cities, especially the big ones like San Francisco. Haven't you seen them before? No, but I ain't exactly been here long. Where did you live before? Sacramento? I'm sure there's covens there too. I never saw signs like these in Sacramento. I already told you I didn't. I think I'd remember if I did. Calm down, Bearcat. Don't tell me what to do, Buster. Why, you... Look, I don't know from nothing about magic or magicians. This is the first I, I heard of any of this. Well, it's not totally unheard of, this situation. Perhaps you were just in, in a part of Sacramento where the coven couldn't reach. It is rare, but it does happen. Have you ever noticed anything strange happen? 
happen around you. Times when you wish for something to happen and they just and they happen just like that. I thought back. Now that they were mentioning it, mentioning it, I could think of plenty of examples. Times when I wished it would stop raining and it did. Ooh, spooky! Times when I was dealing with some bully and suddenly when they touched me, they said it burned like fire. She's a witch! Hang her! Hang her! Okay, sorry. Things I thought were just coincidences. I'm a magician? Absolutely. Go for Join the club. You're all magicians? Got it in one. Hmm. This is going to be a little bit of a problem. How so? Well... Now you've got to take the exam. Exam? What? What's that? What's an exam? My brain! My brain! Okay, sorry. I'm only a witch! Okay. It's a test. See, we magicians have this thing called the Grand the Grand Council. A bunch of old fo fogies, foggies, fogies who make decisions about the way things are run. Every magician has to be approved by the council. Usually they find you at a young age and train you to take this exam. If you fail, you get your magic taken away and your memory wiped. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good to me. I lose my memory if I don't pass? Dead men tell no tales, but an amnesiac don't neither. Since we found out that you've got the magic potential, it's our duty to report you to the council. One of us will be your mentor. We'll train you. And then you'll take a magic exam administered by council representatives. Will she be able to handle both that and being a bartender at the same time? They all turned to me. Their eyes were questioning, expecting. I didn't know if I really wanted to be a magician right then. But losing my memory of this place would be a problem. Sure, of course I will. I can do it. Yeah! Copagetic! Everything good! Copagetic, everyone! <laughs> Our coven's going to be an even numbered at last. If she passes, that is. Why you gotta be such a wet blanket, Emmy? Emmy? Oh, dry up, Viv. I ain't a wet black blanket. Just a realist. That's not the word I'd use. I don't care. Alright, alright. Enough from you two. Now, Haru, I know this has to be a lot to take in. Why don't you turn in for the night? But what about the job? Ain't this place about to open? We did fine. Oh, we did fine without you up until now. We can survive one more night. Marie is right. Get some rest. We can talk more in the morning. Well, if you put it that way, then all right. I'll take you up on that. Can you find your way to your room by yourself? Yeah, I think I've got the hang. It's just one stair day, stairway down. All right. Good night, Haru. Ah. Buena noche. Buena noche. That's his yeah, doll. Night. Buena noche. Full of mixed feelings, I went down the stairs to my new room. Of course, I tossed and turned the whole night, but what do you expect? It's not every day you're told you're a magician. So, with that said, we're going to end the episode here, guys. So, save, 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 I didn't do whatever. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this part of The Blind Griffin. Things might get interesting now that I've been told I am a magician. I'm a witch! Hang me! Um, but yeah, everything's gonna be fine. We'll get through this. Don't you worry. And then, Haru, hopefully, will not get her memories wiped. So, everything will be copagetic, everyone. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the Blind Griffin. This has been Ray Solution, and until the next video, stay amazing, people. Sayonara, everyone!